once again uh, welcome my students now today we are going to discuss in moral science discipline brings success how the discipline will bring you success and uh, what are the main reasons and the factors that will affect the moral character moral values in your life now how the discipline will help to bring all these things discipline is not only to listening somebody discipline means the way you behave the way you achieve the target the way you have set your goal everything now in this lesson now discipline brings us success this is the name of the lesson and the name itself suggests that if we are obeying the rules if we are following our teachers if we are following our targets whatever we have set and how we will achieve to that target then this will bring that success to you and the discipline is the key factor now the teacher noticed swetha of from the very first day of the school as a very disciplined and obedient student she sat quietly in class obeyed the teacher learned her lesson behaved well with everyone in the class and had a pleasing personality everyone in the class looked for swetha's company now in this first paragraph it is very much clear to all of us that what is the behavior what is the moral character of the swetha she is a girl and she is having the moral values she knows how to sit how to act in a school from the very first day she come under the notice of the teacher not only the teacher when we have we are behaving very nicely to others when we are doing our good in a very uh, well mannered way then it will be noticed to everybody in our house in the society in the school and wherever you are working and wherever you are studying everywhere you will be noticed now what is the main things in this she was very disciplined and very obedient and she sat quietly in the class why we are coming to school for only to clearing our doubts means if we will listen quietly then only we can speak nicely first we have to inculcate the habit of listening if we are listening nicely then only we can display we can deliver the content in a nice format to others if we will not listen then garbage will come in our mind and always we will be confused what the teacher has said what the other teacher has said outside the school what the parents are saying because we are not listening we will try to make it good by ourselves we will try to frame it by ourselves but this is not the correct way now in this class obeyed the teachers learned her lesson behaved well in to everyone in the class she was behaving very nicely she was obeying the teacher obeying the teacher means what teacher will tell teacher will tell you to read the lesson to do the homework these things she was obeying nicely she was following it every day she was completing her homework so this was bringing her in the notice of others now now well everybody in the class has a pleasing personality everyone in the class looks for the shweta's company now if a person is good then everybody will like her if a person is not good nobody will like her or him then she was very disciplined in her way she was uh, acting nicely then what was the effect she was getting everybody was trying to talk with her everybody was trying to have friendship with her everybody was seeking her help in his or her work so this is only due to the discipline she was having in herself discipline and obedience are the traits or character that help to form an in attractive personality if you are disciplined and obedient 
obedient means if you are following your guardian your mother father your teachers your uh, idol person in your life then it will be a good traits in you and if you are doing all these things then definitely other person person will like you and the other person will seek the help from you they can tell their problems with you because they know only you can understand them only you can solve their problem so this is the way by which we can inculcate the habit of obedience and other things now god has now man is going now sorry god had a purpose in the creation of the universe when the universe functioned as per the law of the nature there was happiness on earth god has created this world and he has done everything in a proper and a well structured way for example if the river is there then we should not stop the river because if we will stop the river by dams then definitely some problem will come god has created trees we should not cut the trees if the trees we will cut then definitely we will be in problem as you can easily understand this somewhere it is a mountain if we will dig the mountain then definitely it will disturb the balance if uh, we are developing bombs then definitely it will harm us only so all these things that god whatever has given us we should not interfere in this we should only respect those things this is the habit we should inculcate in our us now man is going against the law of nature it upsets the balance of earth and result in calamities like earthquakes tsunamis flood etc now what is the what the man is going uh, doing nowadays we are going against the law we are not uh, following the nature's law we are not implanting the trees we are not uh, giving the way to the rivers we are just keeping soil on that in that way and then we are making some houses we are trying to move the river from certain other paths we are trying to make a dam for our electricity then what it will do now the nature is upset with the humans behavior and what will happen nature will take the revenge from the human and easily you can see if a small rain is there in delhi and in mumbai then flood is there like in bihar nowadays so what is the problem what of can't go to the sea the what is the way to go to the sea these rivers that uh, go, uh, that uh, uh, nature has made for us but what we have done we have stopped the rivers so what is the problem now the water can't go to the sea even we are making roads we are making houses everywhere concrete is there then water can't go down the earth then this will where the water will go water will be upside on the ground and now we are facing the problem so whenever we will go against the law of the nature we have to face the problem god created man to be happy man to be happy means god has given everything naturally it is present for us but we are not using it properly we are making whatever we have made for our easy net that will affect the environment slowly or adversely now to achieve happiness man must control his emotions temperament and modify behavior for happiness happiness will not come only by the things which you will purchase or which you are having this will come with your temperament means the way you are thinking the way you are reacting and you have to modify your behavior behavior means to our guardians to our teachers and behavior to the nature also if any animal is there then with that animal how we have to behave this we must know if a tree is there then how we have to behave with that tree this must know now in a way of discipline himself acceptance will power hard work industry and persistence are the five pillars of self discipline now self discipline means what to control over oneself and how it will come first thing acceptance acceptance means you must be ready to accept your mistakes 
this is not a problem you should tell yes i have done this mistake and i will never do this again and try to improve yourself try not to do that mistake again doing mistake is not a bad thing but you should improve everybody even we should also improve will power you must have a thinking in your mind that i have to do this work if you are telling that i want to be an engineer i want to be a doctor i want to be a lawyer then you must be prepared for that you must have will power for that you must work hard for that designation regularly hard work you must not be lazy you must not think about your comfort zone you must do the hard work you must sit you must study for your goal industry means you should provide a good behavior to others you must provide the good uh, helpful nature to others persistence means you must be regular if you are studying study regularly if you are habit of writing one page of writing then do it regularly you must be for, uh, you must follow a timetable and do it regularly if you are not persistence then you can't achieve your goal you can't achieve your target now these are the five pillars of your self discipline if you take the first letter of each word you get the acronym a wipe the five pillars which we have discussed acceptance will power hard work industry persistence if you will take the five uh, the first first letter from every uh, word as i am writing here acceptance will power hard work industry persistence now if you will take the first letter from each word then a w h i p this you will get and this is the acronym many people uh, inculcate self discipline by a wipe of their concise conciseness wipe uh, means if you are preparing hard for your goal then you can uh, simply wipe off uh, out your all the problematic thing in your life means erase them all and then you can develop the self discipline in you now self discipline is the ability to control one's feeling and one overcome one's weakness so this is very simple that we should control ourselves if we have seen a vehicle um, outside in the market then we should not get ready to purchase at any cost we should think about this we should know that why we should uh, purchase this item we must control ourselves if we will not control ourselves then this will be the major problem for you for your behavior now if it is necessary then only we have to think about that items and uh, this will be the weakness of ourselves also if you are seeing for any good toy or uh, outside then we will be uh, generally this happens to us that we are ready to purchase that toy at any cost but this should not happen we should think about this that if we can purchase that toy at uh, the low cost also then we should go and we should stop ourselves for one or two days now imagine what you could accomplish if you could simply tell yourself i am overweight and i must lose my weight if a fat person is telling that i am overweight and i must lose my weight mean that simply he is knowing his fault and he is working for it self discipline gives you the will power to exercise and lose weight so if you know that i have a problem 
then what you should do you must work for it means if you know that i am fat person if you know that i am not healthy i want to be a healthy person then you have to work for it regularly you should go for exercise you for you should go for morning walk certain things you should do to lose the weight that you have gained then only it will helpful to you now self discipline can empowers you to overcome any addiction addiction may be of any type for example if the person is uh, having the uh, addiction of mobiles like if any children is using mobile phone without any reason if any children is having the addiction of playing games outside more than the studies if he is affecting his studies for any other activities he wants to talk with his friend more then all these things are called addiction and we should not be addicted of anything we must know that what uh, is the good way to do these things nowadays you should play outside also outdoor game is very important for our health but we must know that how much time we have to spend for that outdoor game we should not play for it since uh, uh, means uh, for 2 3 hours we should play according to the time which we are having and we should follow the time table we should give time to our studies as well if we are using mobile phones nowadays as a computer teacher i can tell you that we should not spend too much time on these devices you can use the mobile phones you can go through the classes for purpose you should use without reason without purpose if you will use the mobile phones then definitely it will affect the health of your eyes and the brain also so study from the mobile phones is not a bad thing but don't use it for any other activities for the facebook and for the whatsapp that is not uh, means uh, promoted you should not talk with your friend you should talk to your teacher if any clarification if any answer if any question you have you can directly discuss to your teacher with your mobile phones so this is called addiction if we are using any things wrongly then that is called addiction now when combined with the qualities of love friendly and the hard work it takes you to the great heights in your life when all these things like fidelity hard work and the quality then it will give you the designation which you want for example if you want to be a doctor you must know that how you can be a doctor you must study well you must uh, be prepared for the online and the competitive exams which is going all around us so all these things you must know uh, if you are confused that how i can be a good doctor then you will never reach that point you should ask your teacher you should ask your guardian that how i can achieve my goal then only you can get that goal now the way of building self discipline is like weight lifting to build muscles self discipline will come slowly as a weight lifter is doing the hard work regularly but he will not get the muscles in a one day he will get the muscles in a few months he has to spend lots of time and the lots of sweat he is spending then with in few months in a few years he will get uh, gain some muscles now you lift weight that is within your ability to lift you yourself stop when you are exhausted this is only you in this sentence it is clearly telling that weight lifting and the character building and the target achieving is like the same as we are lifting the weight this is totally dependent on our self that when we want to stop it if you feel that you are exhausted then you can stop lifting no problem if you feel that you are not exhausted then you can continue like the same if you want to study you can continue if you don't want to study you can you can stop it but the same thing the will power means to achieve certain things in a limited amount of time you must know this for example if i want to be a doctor and i will over age then how it is possible 
within the age within the time we have to achieve the goal we have to achieve the target then only it will be a fruitful thing so we must follow the discipline and one more thing students i want to discuss the contact number uh, already from the school side you got my number and uh, today also i am giving today also i am giving this is 9170567 if you have any question if you want to discuss anything then you feel free to call me you can call me and uh, uh, you can whatever you want to discuss the syllabus the content and the uh, subject you can discuss thank you